there are a number of opportunities right across the county uh, and predominantly they are through our club structure, uh, both adult and youth. But there are also a number of opportunities for, for players who, who aren't in clubs, who are maybe just playing in school football. Um, but there's a whole structure that, that young players and, and older players can play in. Through uh, our skills programme, our FA skills programme, we have a number of coaches out delivering where young players from 5 to 11 can be trained by uh, very experienced coaches. This would be sometimes the first opportunity children have to play, especially if they're year one, year two students. They wouldn't have played any football before. So for me, my, my main role is to get children into the game and obviously fall in love with it, so then stay in the game going forward. The benefits for small side of games is obviously more touches, more involvement, um, smaller pitches, smaller goals, so the children can feel more connected to the game. More often than not, it's uh, more opportunities to create a 1v1s, 2v1 situations where the children have to really recognise and exploit the space by themselves rather than relying on other people. The skills team really are, are to support that 5 to 11 year age group. They're in schools, they're uh, supporting teachers in their, in their delivery, they do leave um, some training and support for those, for those teachers that, so they can continue that work. Obviously immediate benefit is for the children themselves because they're having a specialist coach take them for that activity. It's also upskilling us as staff. The biggest thing I'm noticing about Kieran's sessions are some of the activities he's getting the children to do, you already watch them going okay well that's actually applicable to some of the other sports the children do. So as well as the football drills he's teaching them, we're also seeing how he's going about teaching PE and how we can apply that to other activities they do across the year. Obviously if we can transfer their skills and they encourage them to play other sports as well as football, that's going to make them a better player at football or a better player at maybe an other sport. We work in like three areas, so school work is one of our main roles. We've invited kids to our skill centre here at Monks Walk and um, that's an extra hour of football a week where we, we look at um, including the FA Four Corner model so social, psychological, technical and physical corner. So developing kids in those four areas. So they'll play maybe 1v1 up until 4v4, 5v5. We don't want to play on a massive pitch because these guys are only 5 to 7. So it's suitable for their uh, physicalities. In terms of the England DNA, we want them to be comfortable on the ball. They get lots of opportunity to do that. Your first activity is not successful and not, uh, not enjoyable, no matter what sport it is, then you're probably unlikely to come back. And I think our skills coaches uh, and a lot of our junior coaches do a really good job in making sure that first taste of football in, in a five-year-old's case is very positive and really enjoyable. 